ライニアこいつは本物だ<笑>姿を見せてみろ。What is going on, guys? My name is Germ, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please leave a like and subscribe. So, uh, Turles's details have finally released. I think Turles's animations are actually really good, by the way. I, I'm not gonna cap with you guys, like, whoa, they popped up. <laughs> um, the thing is, though, I did uh, it's been about eight hours since Turles got officially announced, uh, and unfortunately, our boy is not that good. <laughs> He's uh. He's something, all right. We'll say that much. Now, before I get into where I would place Turles currently, keep in mind we have not seen Turles in game yet. We just kind of know numbers based off their statistics and stuff like that. So we haven't seen what Turles looks like in game, but uh, just reading what the boy does on paper here, courtesy of Goresh, of course. Um, excuse me, I just ate, so you know might get a little gassy here and <laughs> just play, yeah, just play. But um. Yeah, Turles doesn't look that good. So, he is the Space Traveling Warriors leader, which 100% was necessary. They're, they're, listen, no way in hell they were gonna shaft Turles out of Space Traveling Warriors, by the way. No way. He was going to be Space Traveling Warriors. Pure Saiyans is an amazing surprise. So, Turles' team is crazy already, just off of those two categories alone. Uh, planetary Destruction and Low Class Warriors get the 200% leader skill. So, every Turles, every Bardock, every... Uh, Tech 23rd World Tournament, Goku gets on there, Broly is going to be on there, Cooler, Frieza, so not bad, not a bad 200%. Uh, he stacks attack, <laughs> no defense on super attack, and he gets 6% HP. The healing is nice, but uh, no defense, me no likey, we'll say that much. Uh, he has an intro, the intro sucks, by the way, he only gets it against a Goku's family enemy or a kid Gohan. None of the most difficult fights in the game are against a Goku family character or Gohan kid. So, uh, kudos to Turles. Hey, you know what? You can, hey, you can get you can get him during the eighth anniversary battle. Yeah, yeah, against UI Goku, who is easy. Not against the actual hard fights of the eighth anniversary anniversary battle. Yeah, very fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then he does give all all extreme class allies three key and 18% attack. So if you are running Turles' team, it will stack. So every extreme class ally gets six key, 36% attack. Which is crazy, but you're never going to get this active. So, you yeah, know. <laughs> you <Yeah>, know. <laughs> then he gets 160% attack and defense at the start of turn. 60% attack and an additional that has a high chance to become a super attack if HP is 50% or higher. So he can... Him being physical, of course, uh, he can triple super in one turn. Basically, he get his normal super attack, the super attack from the passive, and his hidden potential in one turn. He can triple super, which is not that bad. But he doesn't get defense on super, so what's the point, right? <laughs> then he gets an additional 100% attack when performing a super attack, so again, damage. He gets two key, 5% damage reduction, and 40% defense with each super attack performed. Uh, up to a max of 8 key, 20% damage reduction, and 160% defense. So, scratch that. He does get defense on super attack. But, if he doesn't super attack, good luck is basically what it is. If Turles decides that he wants both of those attacks to be normals, uh, congratulations, pal. You're stuck with just 40% defense. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys are seeing the issues already, right? He's not, he's not going to be very tanky. Uh, once Tur When Turles is fully built up, I do think he'll be fine but he's not going to be anywhere near like god goku tech 23 world tournament goku um and piccolo jr kale is better to be kale is way better than this guy <laughs> uh and then attacks effective against all types and performs an additional attack that has another high chance of becoming a super attack starting from the turn where this character performs his sixth attack in battle 
So once Turles, Turles can do three attacks in one turn. So in the perfect RNG scenario world, it only takes two turns to get Turles completely built so he can get super hit against all types and then he can quad super. It would take Turles two turns though to actually get to this point, to get him fully built up, to get with this. Turles seems good, but uh, I don't know where I would place him with TUR. Just looking at his numbers, or just looking at him on paper, not in game yet, I, I cannot tell you where I would put this guy. Uh, and then he has an active. It will be used on turn three when you're fighting a Goku's family category enemy or Kid Gohan. Again, where are you doing this? Or six turns from the start of battle. So, unless they decide, we, we haven't even gotten Turtles to Celebration info yet. We do have some things in the Celebration details, by the way, that I do want to take a look at. But, the thing is, it, you're not getting this active, ever. Like, you're not getting his intro, you're not getting his active skill active. It, it, it's just going to be a big mess to get Turles to this full potential. Unless they decide to drop the hardest event in the game, like an extreme legendary Goku event or something like that, you know, and Goku does like 5 million as the damage in the final turn or some shit. But keep in mind, uh, stacking characters are just going to crush that again. So, you know, whatever. Same warrior race, big red bosses, thirst for conquest, brutal beat down, prepare for battle, destroyer of the universe, and fierce battle. Pretty standard turtlist link set. Space traveling warriors, pure saiyans, planetary destruction, low class warrior, movie bosses, terrifying conquerors. Thank God they didn't give him anything to do with terrifying conquerors. And final trump card. Yeah, Turles, unfortunately, boys, I I want to say he's a top 10 TUR, but I mean, if I'm going to be realistic with you, I I think the Gammas are better. I think Kid Goku's better. Kale is better. God Goku's better. 23rd World Tournament Goku better. Piccolo Jr. better. Uh, God Goku is better. I think I already said that, though. Like, I, I would probably run Bardock over Turles. Uh, if I had Yamcha, I'd probably run Yamcha over Turles. Super 17 is kind of like the character where I'm like trying to think, would I put Turles above Super 17? Because the thing that they did for Turles that that's incredible, and we're going to talk about it in a second, they ginyu Turles. They gave him two banner units that are, again, one of them is okay. The other one is actually a really good character. So I'll talk about him in a second here. But yeah, it's like Super 17 didn't get help. Turles got help is the thing so it's kind of weird I, I i think i would place turles somewhere in the top 10 TURs, but i i do not know where i would place him um yeah it's just tough he's he's oh like he's good but he's just damage is essentially the problem he's, he, at least he's not raditz tier <laughs> hey he's not raditz tier uh so let's go ahead and talk about his banner units now so we have here cacao days and cacao uh this is turles's first banner unit turles did get two banner units which is awesome by the way that was incredible design incredible choices here let's go ahead and talk about it so days and cacao space traveling warriors 130 percent stats and three key uh this is where i think they're kind of bad I, this is the bad one i think amon and raisin are actually very strong but uh these guys are okay so they get 30 percent attack for one turn and a high chance to stun two key 150 percent attack and defense an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack 10 percent crit and 10 percent dodge for each space traveling warriors category ally attacking the same turn other than this character so right there if you run them in slot one because they, they, uh, we'll get let me let me finish the character and i'll talk about it so then they get an additional 150 percent attack uh medium chance to crit medium chance to dodge as the second or third attack on a turn and they get 30 percent attack and defense for each super attack performed so you want to run this character full additional the issue is um fellas at their max, they will get, what is that, 50% dodge and 50% crit as a second or third attack in a turn, which is good, but they don't get any defense on super attack. So these guys are just raw stats, and they're not getting that much defense. Like, once they super attack all the way, I don't know what their stats would be. So I'm assuming they'd probably be somewhere in like the three to 400k range. Once fully built up, but like I, I can't, I can't really know. Nobody would really talk about their stats. It, that's the problem, man. It's just the boys, they don't have defense at all, right? They're, you're relying on dodge. Just dodge alone won't cut it, right? Because it, and it's a coin flip. So the coin flip decides to fail on you. Guess what? You're dead. This character will get you killed. So links are loyalty, destroy the universe, team turtles, brutal beat down, thirst for conquest, solid support, and fierce battle. 
And then Space Traveling Warriors, Joint Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, and Planetary Destruction. So they're on trailer list is 200%, and that's it. <sighs> like, they're they're okay. They're nowhere near, like, Chi-Li, Fasha, STR Krillin, Android 8, STR Piccolo. N no, no. They're not touching that level. Now, this unit, though. <laughs> hey, hey. This, these guys, though. They're kind of in that range. I, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I do think they're kind of there. So let's talk about it. Amon and Raisin. Planetary Destruction, 130% stats and 3 keyed. 30% defense. There you go. Already better. Uh, high chance to seal, which is kind of eh. They, they really just have gotten guaranteed sealing, but it is what it is. 150% attack and defense start a turn. Planetary Destruction category allies. 1 key, 30% stats. And if they are in space traveling warriors, they get 20% defense and 10% crit. So they're giving Turles 1 key, 30% attack, 50% defense, and 10% crit chance. Now, here's where this unit gets really good. <laughs> you guys see it there. I don't have to highlight it. <laughs> they get guard. Yes. Yes. They get guard and damage reduction by 20%. As the first attacker in a turn. Leave them in slot one. You're done. Easy. Easy fix, by the way. <laughs> you just leave them in slot one and call it a night. <laughs> All right, like, oh, that's it. Really, the, the rest of this is just fluff. Like, that, that's pretty much it. Boom. Yeah, they get 50% attack and then additional super attack as a second or third attack in a turn. Who the hell cares? <laughs> Who the hell cares? <laughs> Gain an additional attack and defense plus 30% each time guard is activated. Yeah, you want to leave them in slot one, get them fully built up. And then you can run them as just a floating support unit once you get them fully built up. But why would you do that? <laughs> Not like, I mean, I mean, what do you want me to say? Why, why would you run this unit anywhere but slot one? You know? So, yeah. I think Amon and Raisin are actually in that upper, uh, it's crazy, yeah, the Turles Henchmen are getting, are up there as one of the best banner units in the game. Uh, Loyalty destroyed the universe, Team Turles, Brutal Beatdown, Thirst for Conquest, Tough as Nails, and Fierce Battle, so, uh, Daze and Cacao get solid support, and these guys get Tough as Nails, which is fine. Uh, same category, Space Island Warriors, Join Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, and Planetary Destruction, so there you guys have it. That's Turles and his units, but I do want to talk about some stuff that came in the Dokkan news. Um, last night, let me see if Dokkan is actually up for me. There we go. Sweet. I do want to talk about this real quick. So, we are getting a new Dragon Ball story. Uh, the Turles movie event will be getting its revamp into a Dragon Ball story. They'll probably use a lot of the animations from Turles, by the way. The SR, Free to Play Turles, will Dokkan awaken into a TUR. And um, considering the last batch of Free to Play units we got, it would not shock me at all if this guy's better than the Dokkan Fest. If this guy has anything at all that isn't just damage, like if he did zero attack stat, but he has like 70% chance to dodge, guard, damage reduction, and support. Uh, <laughs> there's a scenario here, boys, where this guy will be the better Turles in the end of the celebration. We'll see, though. We'll see, though. Uh, by the way, L LR Turles, there's a high, high chance that he will EZA during the celebration. I did say Bojack would be my preferred pick, but LR Turles or Bojack could EZA during the celebration. We'll see. The Dokkan Fest EZA is kind of hard to tell because Turles doesn't really have anything else. I do think that this will be the part 2 LR. This guy right here, Spirit Bomb Goku, but we'll see. And then we are getting a new support memory as usual. But this is what I really wanted to talk about. So we're getting a new Prime Battle. And it's Dr. Wheelo. <laughs> LR Dr. Wheelo is coming to Dokkan. So they're finally giving Movie 2 some representation in Dokkan. That's awesome. The thing that is, though, is since they're giving this guy a Prime Battle LR during the Turles celebration, I don't think this is just a Turles movie celebration. I think this could be a movie celebration. So they could really realistically choose anything. I I'd say the first three Dragon Ball movies. So Dead Zone, this movie, which I forgot the name of it, and um, Tree of Might could all realistically get the part to LR. Uh, could you imagine LR Garlic Jr. in two weeks? <laughs> that shit would be so funny. But yeah, that's that's the thing. Uh, yeah, Prime Battle Dr. Wheelo is getting... So LR Dr. Wheelo coming to Dokkan. Uh, all we know about the boy so far is that he is a revenge leader. We'll see what he'll end up looking like, though. I mean, it's the first Dr. We it's the first second Dragon Ball representation. Second Dragon Ball Z movie's representation in the game. So, we'll see. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about Turles. Unfortunately, I don't think he's insane. Right? He... Compare him to 23rd World Tournament Goku and Piccolo Jr. He's like all the way at the bottom compared to those guys. But let me know what you guys think about Turles. Uh, yeah, he's fine. 
And that's about it for me. Uh, if you made it this far, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.